what is up guys welcome back to the Ange predicts youtube channel i'm Ange, and i predict stuff if you're new to the channel please don't forget to like comment and subscribe with the bell on if you're looking to access my premium parlays for each sport i cover as well as premium picks and betting strategies become a member of my channel today by clicking the join button at the bottom of the video what is up guys welcome back to Ange's daily picks guys for monday september 18th 2023 guys in this video i will explain to you each of my picks for every sport on the schedule please be advised guys this is a early look at the picks Thus, the picks are subject to change based on the odds or other factors, guys. And also, if you would like to see who will be the match winner as well as the correct score, guys, please watch each individual for that information. All right, guys, starting with MLB, we have the Guardians going up against the Royals. We have Quancho for the Guardians, Singer for the Royals. I tend to like the Royals, guys, with Singer pitching. He's been really good this year. Uh, yes, I know Guardians played very well against the Rangers, but I think the Royals at home with Singer get this through. So I'm going to go with the Royals plus 1.5 on that one. Next up, we have the Twins versus the Reds. Ryan for the Twins and pitching for the Reds is Phillips, uh, who doesn't have a lot of experience, doesn't have a win under the belt, guys. I like Ryan pitching for the Twins. I like the way the Twins have been playing. I'll go with the Twins on the money line. Next up, we have the Mets going up against the Marlins. The Marlins have been surprisingly good against their matchup with the Braves, guys, which really surprised me. Um, they are going up against a Mets team that does have Buto pitching, which isn't their starting pitcher. However, guys, I do tend to side with the Mets on this one, guys. On the road, I think uh, the Mets play a bit better. So I'm going to go with the first five Mets on this one. All right, guys, next up, we have the White Sox versus the Nationals. We have Clevenger for the White Sox and Adon for the Nationals. I really like the way Adon's been playing uh, for the Nationals, guys. They are back at home. I'll side with the Nationals on this one, guys. Nationals money line is my pick. Next up, we have the Phillies and the Braves, guys. Two teams that like to get a lot of runs. We have Wheeler for the Phillies and Wright for the Braves, so not their starting pitcher, guys. I like either the Phillies against the spread or the over on this one. Next up, we have the Brewers versus the Cardinals. The Brewers are another team that have been playing very well uh, recently. They have Peralta pitching, and for the Cardinals, it's Wainwright, guys. I do like the side with the Brewers on this one, guys. Like I said, they've been lately they've been playing the better baseball, uh, so give me the Brewers on the money line. Next up, we have the Red Sox and the Rangers. What can I say about the Rangers, guys? They have just not been good in the last few games. Let a lot of people down, honestly. Uh, they let me down, honestly, guys. I had a lot of confidence in the Rangers at the beginning of the season, and lately they've just been not good. Uh, we got Crawford for Red Sox, Montgomery for the Rangers. The Rangers don't play good in the first five innings, so give me the first five Red Sox on this one. Next up, we have the Orioles going up against the Astros. Verlander in for the Astros, guys, and Means in for the Orioles. I'll go with the Astros, guys, the better experienced pitcher. Give me the Astros on the money line. Next up, we have the Mariners going up against the Athletics. We have Wu in for Mariners and Waldachuk for the Athletics, guys. What can I say? If you look at the matchup history, the Mariners had the upper hand in a lot of those games. However, I think the safer bet on this one is the under, guys. We look, if we look at the last few matchups between the two, it has tended to stay under. So either go the under, or if you're looking to take a little more risk, your pick Mariners money line. Next up, we have the Rockies going up against the Padres. The Rockies have been playing very well. They played well against the Giants, but they were at home, guys. This time they're on the road. Uh, they got Black Black as the uh, pitcher, and for the Padres you have Waka, which I really like. Give me the over guys or the Padres on the money line on this one. All right, next up, we have the Tigers and the Dodgers. This one's a really tricky one, guys. Rodriguez in for the Tigers and Lynn in for the Dodgers. It's just hard to tell, guys. Like I said, two decent pitchers. Uh, the Tigers, they get a lot of runs in. So do the Dodgers. In my opinion, guys, you should just avoid this game. All right, NFL, guys, we have two games uh, for, this, for today. We have the Saints going up against the Panthers. The Saints won their first game. 
Panthers lost their first game, guys. We have two teams that are two under teams, that's for sure. They don't tend to score a lot of points. The Panthers are a young team. Uh, I don't see them winning much this season, guys. I'll take either the under on this one or the Saints straight up, guys. Next up is the Browns versus the Steelers. Uh, the Steelers lost their first game, guys. They only got seven points in. The Browns did win their game. This might be a closer game, guys, but I do think the Browns steal the game at the last quarter. I'm taking the Browns minus 2.5 on the game. All right, now for soccer, guys, we have Nottingham Forest versus Burnley, guys. Burnley is a new team in the league, guys. They did, uh, well, basically they ascended from the league, uh, from their other league uh, this season, so they made it up there. And Nottingham Forest, guys, last year that was not a good team, but this year they have a really good start to the season. I tend to take Nottingham Forest to win this one, guys, or the under in the first half could work as well. All right, next up, La Liga. We have Granada versus Girona, guys. Uh, Granada is another team that made it up to the La Liga this year, guys. Girona is a team that's been in La Liga. They're starting off the season pretty strong uh, for G Girona. I don't know if Granada is going to be able to score against Girona. I would take the both teams score, but the thing is, Girona only let in two goals, guys. So I think I'll go with the Girona on the money line. Next up for Serie A, guys, with two games. Salernitana versus Torino, guys. Looking at the two, there's a high probability of a tie. If you look at the amount of goals they have in the last few games, if you look at their ties, it looks like it's probably going to be a draw. So I'll take Torino or tie on the game. And last but not least, guys, we have Verona versus Bologna. Last year, I would have said Bologna for sure, guys. But this year, Verona started very strong with two wins in three games. Uh, Bologna is just not the best team, guys. They're not the most reliable team. I like Verona against the spread on this one. All right, guys, those were my picks of the day. I hope you enjoyed them. Please be advised, the picks are subject to change. If the odds change, other factors, uh, injuries, stuff like that. So if you do want to watch each video for baseball and all the others, go watch them to get the exact score and the final betting tip with the match winner result. All right, guys, I'm Anjan. I'm out of here, guys. Take care and good luck.